Davenport ain't going nowhere. What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> I didn't check back in yet. I'm just here. Technically, you ain't gonna leave. Well, I have a pretty robust uh, first lieutenant team here that works very hard in setting up the uh, base for uh, any type of emergency we might have. Uh, I have about 20 folks that are uh, going around to all the tenant commands that include fleet forces, uh, sublant, and surf land to ensure that their facilities are uh, maintained during this uh, tropical uh, cyclone. Mainly our, our concern is, uh, since we're in a low-lying uh, level here, uh, we're concerned about the storm surge. So a uh, majority of my folks are setting up sandbags to protect uh, most of the buildings from flooding and uh, ensure that power is maintained uh, during the storm. The Navy Ridge in Mid-Atlantic has set uh, 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 cyclone condition uh, of readiness three. So uh, we went from four to three earlier today and uh, these guys will probably be working uh, a good uh, 12, 14 hours getting ready for uh, Cyclone uh, Condition 3. Us, in addition with uh, my neighbors at uh, Joint Expeditionary Base Little Creek, Naval Air Station Oceana, and Naval Station Norfolk are working hard to ensure all our sailors, military personnel, and uh, uh, other civilian personnel that work here on our bases are safe, cared for, and that all our military assets are protected. We're seeing the uh, weather phenomenon coming up the coast and uh, either breaking to the left uh, about where we are up north toward Washington or, or New York or heading out to sea. Obviously, we're, uh, we're preparing for the, the Norfolk arrival and uh, with that, uh, we're preparing for winds in excess of 50 knots, but expect them to be between 30 to 40. I'm confident the base will survive. Uh, we survived Irene. I think we'll survive this. Uh, I think I may have to swim to work Monday morning, but uh, other than that, I think we'll be fine.